with a RIN test. The fork is set vibrating quietly and held adjacent to the external ear canal and then after a few seconds the base of the tuning fork is moved and held against the mastoid bone behind the ear. The patient is being asked whether he or she can hear the sound in each position and whether it is perceived to be louder at the side of the ear canal or when placed on the mastoid bone behind the ear. A positive RIN test indicates that the patient heard the sound louder through the ear canal through the mastoid bone i.e. air conduction is greater than bone conduction. This positive result is found if the patient has normal hearing in the test ear or a sensor neural loss. If the patient perceives the ringing to be louder by bone conduction than through the ear canal, drums and ossicles, then there must be a fault in the conducting mechanism. In a conductive hearing loss, the RIN test is negative, i.e. bone conduction is greater than air conduction. Watch out for the so-called false negative run RIN test. If a patient has very severe sensor and neural deafness in one ear only, when the vibrating tuning fork is placed in the mastoid process of that side, the sound waves are transmitted through the bones of the skull to the other cochlea. The patient hears this, so the bone conduction seems louder than air conduction, which was actually not heard at all. This negative ring test does not indicate a conductive deafness on the side of the tested ear, but is a false negative due to the totally deaf ear on that side.